Hello, it's your boy Nicovelli on Nicovelli TV. Make sure you like and subscribe at the end of this video. Now, I'm going to get into it with the New York Knicks when they played the Chicago Bulls and came up short. 115 or 116 in double OT. A devastating loss, and Annis Cannon's getting frustrated, y'all, and I'm going to get into it. Now, we all know about Annis Cannon, right? Came in the league 2011. He was the third overall draft pick, and since then, he been on winning teams like OKC, four out of five seasons, you know, he been known for the goddamn thing, not for his defense, but crashing boards. And he did just that as he had 24 points and 23 boards, y'all, the most in franchise history coming off the bench. There's only one problem, y'all. And his candidate don't want to be on the bench. He don't want to play from the second unit. He want to start, y'all. And Coach Fisdale got that man sitting. Not because he's not playing well, or because the New York Knicks got rookies. 90% of our team are rookies, and they got to get seasoned in, y'all. They got to get seasoned in. A part of Anis Kenner understands that, and there's another part that man just want to play. He want to win now. He told y'all his nipples get hard thinking about a playoff berth. But there's a problem. There's no KP. And it's Cannon. There's no KP. So you got to expect these things, man. You got to expect the Knicks to be in a situation that they're in right now. You at the crossroad. The crossroad, excuse me. And it's Cannon. That's where you at, baby. That's where you at. And I know Coach Fisdale is tearing him up to see that Annis Cannon can't do what he want to do. Coach Fisdale trying to tell Annis Cannon, you might get the, the six-man year award. Annis Cannon probably feeling like, fuck that six-man year award. I ain't here for that. I'm here for a winning season. A winning season. But look at it like this, Annis Cannon. I need you to hear this, Annis. Let's say you was starting. You would have burnt yourself out. We don't want to burn you out. Huh? You played 41 minutes and you scored 24 points and crashed the boards 23 times. Phenomenal. You broke a record. We see what you're doing. New York City is not mad at you, Annis, but wanting to win now. God damn it. But see, look at the bigger picture. New York want to make it to the playoff. New York won a championship, let alone a winning season. And how are we going to do that, Annis Cannon, if we got players like Mitchell Robinson, who lacks the experience? He got to get out there. That man got to work. That man got to work. I don't know if Annis Cannon... Uh, underestimated the situation? Did Annis Cannon realize how important it was going to be to try to have a successful season without KP? Did he really think this through? I mean, the players we got are phenomenal. Lonzo Trey, Beast. Trey Burr, Beast. Dotson, Beast. Mario Hazonia, beast. I can go on and on. Uh, uh, Noah, Vanola, beast. We got all the pieces. But what we don't got is KP. We need KP. Kevin Knox, beast. You're going to be all right. Through the losses, you see where the Knicks is at. You see that we, we, we got a promising future. But Annis Canna is being a little bit unpatient. Or impatient, rather. Annis Canna wants the goddamn torch to be lit now. And nobody's mad at you for that. We understand. We understand. So although we know that you promised the city playoffs, you said that. Nick's going to the playoffs. We understand if the Knicks don't. But let's not give up hope, y'all. It's three and eight. We are three and eight. Season just started. But we got to get some wins in. So I understand where Anna's can is coming at. 
Now, on the flip side, Coach Fisdale, I understand where he's coming at, too. He's saying, no, we got to have our new rookies on the floor now. They got to get the experience now. So when KP come back, Mitchell Robinson won't know what to do. I love Coach Fisdale, man. I, I, I see what he's doing, man. He put a smile on my face even when we lose games, and that's hard to do. That's hard to do because the reality of it all, we are gelling right now. The reality of it all, players are getting to know one another. The reality of it all, we got to get to know one another on a level where we trust each other ability. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. It's all going to happen this season. Come on now. New York fans been waiting years to get to the point where we at. We ain't seen Nick basketball like this since Patrick Ewing, Anthony Mason, Chris Childs, Greg Anthony. And then even then, the Knicks came up short. We ain't taking no more shorts, y'all. Huh? We building right now. And you know what's crazy? Is that Nick haters see the Knicks progress more than the so-called Nick fans. I got Nick haters coming to me. And I'd be like, oh shit, Nick Avelli's ready for the rebuttal. Because I know they're going to talk shit. And it's the total opposite. They say, yo, Nick Avelli, man, not for nothing. That's how the Nick haters sentence starts with me. Not for nothing. But yo, Knicks look pretty good. They're going to be all right. The fucking Nick haters. Then I see the so-called Nick fans. And y'all bitching. Oh, here we go. Very few gets the 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 analogy of where I'm coming from when I say the Knicks is gonna be all right. We in rebuilding mode. That the Knicks are are are, are tsh, come on, man. We can't put a band aid on the situation, yo. Uh, let the wound show. Let it show. That's where it's at. Let's heal that shit now. Let's heal it now. No shortcuts. That's what I like about Coach Fisdale. He ain't shortcutting shit. He putting them motherfuckers out there. Go out there and play. If you fuck up, I'll be, I'll be here to chew your ass up. <laughs> I love this coach, man. I love this coach. And they're adapting quick. Look at Manu Mourier. I mean, in the midst of it all, the kid did score back-to-back -back baskets. Huh? He had fucking Claude Frazier on loose in his tie. Looked at his outfit like shit. Huh? Come on now. We got to be patient. We got to be patient. And, and I can do that. I I can sit out for the long haul to see what the Knicks got in store for next year. I can do that. Damn, the Knicks haters is giving me more respect this year than I ever got in last year. Not to mention, let alone as a Knicks fan. So we're going to be just fine. We're going to be just fine. Knicks are learning. Yeah, Mitchell Robinson, he's learning. He's learning when to let his emotions not get the best of him. Quas his cat, Mitchell Robinson was the reason why we lost that game with the Washington Wizards. Huh? But at the same time, like Coach Fisdale said, I'm glad I have to turn him down and not turn him up. So, Coach Fisdale's looking at the situation. Is the glass half empty or is it half full? It's all about your perspective. Three and eight ain't good. Nah. It's not. And Nicovelli ain't making no excuses for it. But shit. The way the Knicks been playing. Go back to all the games the Knicks played. With no Chris Pazingas. A bunch of 19-year-olds, 20, oldest player being just 26. Tim Hardaway playing his fucking heart out. Huh? We all right. We all right. Now, I got a question for y'all Knicks fans. Only the real Knicks fans. 
I want y'all to put down below in the comments. After looking at all the games that Nick played so far, what you think their records would have been if Chris Pazingas was playing right now? I say at least five and eight. Right now, if Chris Pazingas was playing. At least five games Knicks would have won right now. Matter of fact, I'm going to go up a notch. Six and eight. Shit, the more I think about it, maybe eight and eight. Knicks is fucking hot. We can't he come back and protect that paint. Shit. Then Mitchell Robinson will have all the experience. The man got to get in shape. And it's Cannon. I understand. Trust me, I do. Trust me, I do. You want hard nipples. I understand it. I want the Knicks to go to the playoffs. We all want shit. <laughs> but it will happen in due time. In due time. I'm so happy with this squad, man. I'm so happy, man. I mean, even when the Knicks lose, I go outside and shit, and the Nick haters come to me. And you know how the Nick haters used to talk to me last year? Knicks ain't shit. Knicks ain't shit. First three words that came out their mouth. Now when they see Nickavelli, you know what the three words come out their mouth? Not for nothing. I'm going to continue the sentence. Not for nothing, the New York Knicks look kind of good. Not for nothing, yo, the New York Knicks, man, they balling. Not for nothing, when KP come back, Knicks going to be a problem. I'm getting the not for nothing speeches. So it's not time for us Knicks fans to start shitting on the Knicks, start biting our nails, start worrying, because it's like coming on the job for the first time. You don't know what the fuck you got to do. I mean, you have an idea. But you don't know how the system works. You got to be supervised. You got to be reminded when to punch in. huh? Not to take too, too long coming back off the clock. Or you're going to get docked for pay. I mean, there's rules and regulations, god damn it. Yeah. Yeah. So we ain't worrying about them shoggy ass, soggy ass Chicago Bulls. We ain't worrying about that. We ain't worrying about that. We'll get them. We'll get them. We three and eight, y'all. It is what it is. Three and eight. Annis Cannon, man. I feel your pain, brother. I feel your pain, Annis. Huh? 23. Crashing boards. 24 points. 41 minutes. Hmm? When you did the damn thing, Annis. We applaud you. We love the fact that you want a fucking playoff berth from the Knicks this year. And it's Canada's like, fuck waiting on KP. I want to win now. I get that shit. I get it. But you got to remember. The rookies, baby. The rookies. They riding. They got training wheels on the bike. Let them let them do them. Let them do them. And baby, we look good. We look good. We look good. So uh, hit me in the comments what you think the Knicks records would be, the way they've been playing, win or lose. How many games we would have won out the three we lost. I mean, out the eight we lost, excuse me, because we three and eight. So that's the question. If KP was playing, how many games we would have won after eight games we lost? And you say, oh, shit. You know what, Nicovelli? You're right. You're right. Look at the scores at the end of these games. Huh? We would have had an extra 25 points to 30 points coming from KP. Hmm? We good. These kids are playing. They ain't trying to tank. You can look at the games and tell. The Knicks ain't trying to tank. And Ennis Cannon is not trying to have no playoffs. I'm not mad at him. I like the passion. Ennis Cannon said, fuck that six-man award trophy. Fuck coming off the bench. I want, I, once again, I get all that, Cannon. Nicovelli get it? But 
Can you hold them horses? Hold the horses. We got babies for crying out loud. We got babies. You got to feed the baby. You got to rock the baby. You got to burp the baby. You got to change the baby diapers. <laughs> I'm not mad at all. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all, man. Don't be surprised if Coach Fisdale, babies, have a better record than Jeff Hornacek, grown men, coming from last year's season. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Hmm? The way the Knicks is playing right now, the chemistry, and let's give it by the end of January. The end of January. They're going to take it up another notch. Once again, this shit right here we going through is for the bona fide real Nick fans. It's like looking at a construction site. Before you move in the goddamn building. You seen that shit as an empty lot. You probably was collecting snakes in the motherfucking lot at one time. Now that shit is being worked on. You see the hard hats. You see the workers out there. You see them welding. You see them laying them bricks up. Huh? That's where we at. We got our harnesses on, yo. We got a coach. Nick's got a motherfucking coach now. Hmm? That's right. Fuck we bitching about. If the Nick haters ain't bitching, then God damn it, us Nick fans shouldn't be bitching. I ain't worrying about shit because I see what Coach Fisdale was doing. I see what he's doing. Because he could have let Annis Cannon have his way. And say, you know what, Annis Kenner, you're going to start. We're going to sit Mitchell Robinson out, and now you're going to have Mitchell Robinson sitting on the motherfucking bench off the second unit, not having a clue what to do. Coach Fisdale is conditioning his plays right now. He's throwing them out there in the lion's den. That's what you got to do. And let me tell you something. These young boys is fighting the goddamn lion. Huh? Yeah, they might come back clawed up somewhat. But shit, the hell if they not coming back with a hair, a handful of main hair on them. They getting a chunk up that lion's ass too. They fucking playing. Knicks is playing ball. Give it up for Coach Fisdale, goddammit. Give it up for Anis Cannon for his passion. For his fucking passion. Yeah, he fell short. He fell short. From the Chicago Bulls. We fell short from the Nets. But yet we came back and we whooped the Nets ass. So you know the old saying. If you want ass, you got to give ass. This is war, bitches. Hmm? This is war. What you thought? You wasn't going to see no bloodshed when you come to fight? Huh? It's always bloodshed when it comes to fighting war. Damn. Damn. So I hope the Knicks keep doing the goddamn thing. I hope when I see my Nick haters in the street, they continue to address me. Not for nothing. Huh? I love hearing them words coming out my Nick haters. Not for nothing. The Knicks gonna be problems. Not for nothing. The Knicks is rebuilding like the 76ers. Not for nothing. When KP come back, it's gonna be a problem. Not for nothing. That boy Lonzo Tria is serious. Not for nothing. Did you see the alley hoop dunk coming from Mitchell Robinson? How the fucking Nick haters see this shit, but the Nick fans don't. Hmm? How the Nick haters see it, but the Nick fans don't? Yo, I love what I see coming from the New York Knicks. All I want to see right now is these motherfuckers play their hearts out and learn from their mistakes. I know. 
I know New York been waiting 40 plus years for that big chip. We've been waiting. We tired of losing. I get that shit. But God damn it, you can't ban it, band aid a, a situation. You can't just put a band aid on it. Hmm? Can't do that. If the motherfucking pipe is leaking and you got a busted pipe, you don't patch the shit up because eventually the pressure is going to bust the shit again. You get a whole new fucking pipe. Jeff Hondesack was a leak pipe. We got a whole new fucking pipe, y'all. We ain't put no band-aid on it. Now we got to learn how to run the faucet, how to work that shit. Hmm? Come on now, stop bitching. Stop bitching. Shit. And Nick Avelli, I make videos for the passion of it. When the Knicks blew the Atlanta Hawks out, I ain't making no video. I could have made a video. I could have talked hella shit. We blew Atlanta Hawks the fuck out the water. You ain't seen no video up. Huh? Because I see the long haul of this shit. It was just one game. One game. When the Knicks lost, I made a video. I'm doing totally the opposite that I'm used to doing. But I see the whole picture. And I'm happy. I'm happy with what I see, man. We're going to do just fine, man. Just fine. So with that being said, make sure y'all like and subscribe to Nicovelli TV. Subscribe to me. Just don't watch me hit that like button. Thumbs it down if you want to thumbs. I don't care how you do it, but watch me. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And also put in the comments what you think the Knicks records would have been if KP was playing. So we 3-8. and eight. We won three games. We lost eight. How many more games you think the Knicks would have won if KP was playing? Hmm? With the fact that Mitchell Robinson lacks the experience, with everything that we're going through right now, so that's why I ain't worrying. These Nick haters is worrying. Coming to Nickavelli with these not for nothing speeches and shit. <laughs> I'm like, God damn. See, a person on the outside looking in knows what's up. When we in the midst of shit, you overlook shit. But I'm out. Subscribe, like, peace. Let's go, Nicks.